gets the fish He knows the facts He always makes fishing fun For you and everyone Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV It's time for Fish Facts TV Fishback TV back here at Long Key Bridge and so are the Jack Hervals. This morning, uh, right after sunrise, it was red hot. I think I went about four for about 10. So it was about a 50% hit rate, lost a lot of good fish. Um, one yellow jack, three Jack Hervals. Really exciting day, hope you guys enjoy. Hello? Hi, Fishbacks TV, Yellow Jack, first one of the day. Oh man, I just caught a really good one. Ugh. Here we go. Beautiful fish. It's the best Yellow Jack I've caught in a while. Well, I know you guys love keeping them, but I'm gonna let this beauty go after I get some nice video. I was told last time I wasn't doing enough video of the fish. Here we go. Let me get a nice picture for the still. Oh, well, oh there we go. There we go. This photo will take, all right. Beautiful fish. Fishback TV, I've been told grunting is bad, but when I'm trying to pull these fish off these pylons, it just takes every bit of energy. There we go, Fishbacks TV. Big Jacks, baby. Fishbacks TV. Beautiful Jack. Anybody want a Jack Ravel? You want it? All right, guys, so what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I tie my rig here because my leader's getting a little short. So this leader is now probably about four feet. I think that's too short because every time I get a fish, I cut it off. So I thought that last one, the hook broke, but the hook just pulled, meaning wasn't a good hook set. 
All right. Throw this leader, make sure it gets in the garbage. If you want to see how I tie this knot a little better, I got a whole video on knots. I can link in the bottom. I'm not going to teach you how to tie a knot right now, but uh, people, I had two separate people ask about my rig. So, all right, see that? That's a big, thick, three aught circle hook. Honestly, I think a little bit bigger would be better, but you need it to be thick. So maybe a four aught would be good. Now here, I want at least six feet on this because every time I have a fish, I've been changing it out. So I'm gonna go right there. Now it makes it more difficult to cast, but keeps your bait off the bottom. All right, so here we got three ounce egg sinker. Got a swivel. And I only have one more pinfish. Luckily, the cavalry's coming. I got a buddy bringing me some more. Last live pin. Hopefully, those other ones stay live. CV. Kabow. TV. These jacks are thick, baby. I was told last time didn't show enough of the fish. There's a fish. I got about a six foot mono leader, 50 pound test, and I am just getting toe up on the live pinfish. There we go.
jack her out. All right, you gonna hold the rod? I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the net. You can't reel it up, so once it's at the surface. Fish Backs TV. Travis the Lobster Slayer is back in action. Oh, fuck, this is tangled. Oh, shit. Keep its head up while I untangle this real quick. Uh, oh, there we go. Back to me. Came off? Yeah. That's a catch. I still wanted you to get a picture of one, but I know. now you kind of have a feel for it. Holy shit. Those things are strong. That's a monster. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there are so many. This is, I just caught, this is like my fifth one. There's not a snapper in sight. It's just... This Fax TV chubbed up. Now, it's not a, not a game fish. You wanna catch one? All right guys, fish facts wrap. Um, I already explained to you exactly how I had my rig. Three aught hook, three X strong, at least six feet of 50 pound leader, live pin fish, and about a, anywhere from a three to a five ounce egg sinker on top of a swivel. That is my setup. And the thing is, I have that live liner reel. If you watch my live liner review from a couple weeks ago, you're able to flip over. So what, the way I have it is, I have it really light, really light drag, just kind of sitting there. And as soon as I see the rod tip get slammed, I click it over into the heavier drag. And it seems to be working for me. Um, like I said, 50%, but still it was a lot of good fish. Hope you guys enjoy it.